ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मेजरमेंट्स सो वी हैव लर्न ओके यूनिट्स ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी मेजरमेंट वी हैव लर्न द यूनिट्स फॉर द लेंथ और डिस्टेंस वी हैव लर्न द मेजरमेंट्स फॉर द वेट ओके एंड देन वॉल्यूम और कैपेसिटी एंड टाइम एंड फाइनली आर्टिकल्स सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू लर्न दोस्ट यूनिट्स बिकॉज if you learn those units it will be very easy to do this problems so that's why if you are not completed that please complete that after that after the completion only let's do this problems you get the clear idea okay so let's see how the how these problems are simplified okay what they are asking here problems on length so we have to convert this 2.5 kilometers into meters so 2.5 what is the amount of 2.5 kilometers in terms of meters so let's see this what they have given given number is 2.5 kilometers so i will write that so 2.5 kilometers 2.5 kilometers will be converted into 2.5 into 1 kilometer right i will write that 2.5 i am writing the 2.5 kilometers into 2.5 into 1 kilometers because we have learned 1 kilometer 1 hectometer 1 decameter like that only right so that's why i am writing in terms of 1 1 kilometer so is that is there any change in 2.5 kilometers if we write that 2.5 into 1 kilometers there is no change that's why we are writing like this so 2.5 into 1 kilometers then 2.5 into 1 kilometer means that how many meters we have to convert this 1 kilometer into meters 1 kilometer equals how many meters 1000 meters we have learned that 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters so we are replacing this 1 kilometer with 1000 meters right now this is converted into meters or not so the value will be if we multiply 2.5 with 1000 if you multiply 2.5 with 1000 the decimal point will be removed right so we have learned that in decimal fractions decimal fractions in decimal fraction we have seen that so if you multiply that 2.5 into 1000 it will be 25000 remove the decimal point and multiply with the 1000 then it will be 25000 meters but we have the one decimal point is there right so we have to keep one decimal point so it will be 2500 Point zero two thousand five hundred point zero means that we can remove the two zero, so it will be two thousand five hundred meters, right? Which is two point five kilometers. In general theory, in general theory, what do you mean by two point five two and half? I mean that two kilometers means that two thousand meters. Of five point five means that zero point five means that of in thousand what is the of five hundred? So that's why two thousand five hundred meters. That is what we are getting right. next one like that we need to do that problem son next question 2. so 28.56 28.56 equals to 25 28.56 kilometers equals to dash hm what is meant by hm here hm means that hectometers so we have to convert this kilometers into hectometers we have the conversion for the kilometers into hectometers or not 1 kilometer equals how many hectometers What is the answer? One kilometer equals to ten hectometers. One kilometer equals to ten hectometers. So, two point twenty-eight point five six kilometers equals to. I am writing it as twenty-eight point five six. Twenty-eight point five six into one kilometer. Twenty-eight point five six into one kilometer. So, twenty-eight point five six into one kilometer. So one kilometer equals to how many hectometers, na? One kilometer equals to ten hectometers. So it will be written as twenty-eight point five six into ten hectometers. Clear? So if we multiply with the ten, remove the decimal point. It will be two eight five six zero will be added, right? But we have the two digits. After the two digits, decimal point is there, right? So we have to put A decimal point after the two digits for the product. So if we keep that one two, it will be point here. 
so it will be 285.6 hectometers which is 28.56 kilometers clear next one what they have given 7.392 7.392 kilometers equals to 7.392 into 1 kilometer i will write that 1 kilometer so what is the one value of 1 kilometer 1 kilometer equals to we 1 kilometer we have to convert in terms of decameters now right in terms of decameters means that what is the value of 1 kilometer in terms of decameters 1 kilometer equals to 100 decameters 1 kilometer equals to 100 decameters so it will be 7.392 into 100 decameters so if we multiply with the 100 so we have to remove the decimal point forget about the decimal point and keep the zeros for that 739200 decameters but we have the decimal point right now come to the decimal point we have the decimal point after three digits from left to right so after the decimal three digits we have to keep decimal decimal point for three digits so one two three point so it will be 739.2 decameters that is the 7.392 kilometers clear clear any doubt no doubt right next one next one 8 point next one is 8.9 8.943 meters equals to 8.943 into 1 meter 8.943 into 1 meter 1 meter equals to how many centimeters nana 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters 8.943 into 100 centimeters so if we multiply that so it will be 8 9 4 three double zero but we have the for decimal point is there for three digits so we have to put that three digit decimal point so it will be like that so it will be 894.3 centimeters which is 8.943 meters clear any doubt this is how we convert that okay this is how we convert that one unit to another unit of the same okay same physical quantity next one 12.78 hectometers equals to 12 point they are asking in terms of meters or not. so one hectometer equals how many meters tell me that what is the value of one hectometer one hectometer equals to 100 meters so 12.78 equal into 1 hectometer so 1 hectometer means that 12.78 into 100 meters because 1 hectometer equals to 100 meters so if you multiply with the 100 equal here equal number of decimal values are there right so we can remove the decimal point or simply multiply that 1278 0 0 meters so we have to put a decimal point for after two digits so it will be point so 12.78 hectometer equals to 1278 meters 1278 meters clear next one so decameters has to be converted into centimeters now look at the very very important question decameters in terms of centimeters we don't have the decameters in terms of centimeters right so that's why first we will convert the decameters into meters decameters into meters and then meters into centimeters so we have to do the two steps here so 8.9432 decameters equals to so i will write that 8.9432 into 9432 into one decameter so one decameter decameter first we have to convert decameter into meters and then meter will be converted into centimeters so 
8.9432 into 1 decameter equals how many meters Anna? 1 decameter means 10 meters so 10 meters why we are converting into meters but they are asking centimeters because decameters directly we don't know in terms of centimeters that's why we are converting decameters into meters and then meters will be converted into centimeters so if we multiply so again 8.9432 into 10 into 1 meter we can write that so 1 meter equals how many centimeters 100 centimeters so it will be 8.9432 into 10 into 100 centimeters because 1 meter in, in centimeters so 8.9432 so we have to multiply with the thousand so if we multiply with the thousand it will be decimal point will be moved for three digits so it will be 8943.2 centimeters which is 8.9432 decameters so decimal point here we have the three zeros right so if we have the three digits zeros the decimal point will be moved forward for three digits okay next one 23.073 in terms of centimeters no, no. but again we do not know kilometer in terms of centimeters so that is why again the kilometers will be converted into meters meters will be converted into centimeters so it will be 23.073 kilometers equals to 23.073 into 1 kilometer so what is the value of 1 kilometers in terms of meters so it will be 23.073 into 1000 meters 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters 1 kilometer equals to 1000 meters so and then this meters will be converted into okay this meter will be converted into centimeters so here we have the equal number of decimal values are there right equal number of decimal values and zeros are there so we can remove the decimal point so it will be 23073 into 1 meter right so we have to convert the meter is in terms of centimeters so it will be 23073 into 1 meter equals to 100 centimeters so the 1 meter has to be converted into centimeters so we have the into 100 is there right so it will be 230730 centimeters that is the 23.073 kilometers clear please be concentrate more for this type of problems because here we need to convert we have to do two steps to convert the given unit into the another unit clear next one problems on weight problems on weight so problems on weight so again any any problem here we need to convert we have to convert one unit to another unit means that we have to know we have to already know that units conversion so tons in terms of quintals so we have to know about the tons in terms of quintals so it will be 8.47 ton equals to 8.47 into 1 ton because we know we already know that 1 ton value in terms of kilo quintals so 8.47 into 1 ton equals how many quintals Nana? 1 ton equals to 10 quintals 1 ton equals to 10 quintals if we multiply with the 10 this to the this decimal point it will be 84 the decimal point will be moved forward it will be 84.7 quintals 84.7 quintals clear next one okay next one 3.2 kg 3.2 kg into hectograms 3.2 kg into hectograms so 3.24 kg equals to 3.24 into 1 kilogram again 
so kilogram has to be converted into hectograms kilograms has to be converted into hectograms so it will be 3.24 into 1 kilogram means that how many hectograms 1 kilogram equals to 10 hectograms so into 10 hectograms so if we multiply with the 10 the point decimal point will be moved forward and it will be 32.4 hectograms 32.4 hectograms so see here here we are simply converting one unit to another unit means that we have to know that value of that unit in terms of another unit clear so 14.735 kilogram so this kilogram has to be converted into decagram so if we need to convert this kilogram into decagrams we have to know what is the value of kilogram in terms of decagrams so 14.735 into 1 kilogram so 1 kilogram equals to how many decagrams 1 kilogram equals to 100 decagrams you know that right 14.735 into 100 decagrams so if we multiply with the 100 14.735 the decimal point will be moved forward by two digits because we are having two zeros in the product so it will be 1473.5 decagrams okay next 24.0672 grams equals to okay 24.0672 grams equals to 24.0672 into 1 gram so what is the 1 gram value into the mg mg means that milligrams what is the value of 1 gram in terms of milligrams 1 gram equals to 1000 milligrams 1 gram equals to 1000 milligrams you have to know that so 24.0672 into 1000 milligrams here in the in this product we have the three zeros so that decimal point will be moved forward by three digits so it will be 24067.2 milligrams clear that is the conversion that is the conversion from grams to milligrams clear next similarly here also 7.28 hectograms 7.28 hectograms so 7.28 hectograms has to be converted into grams so what is the hectograms into grams 7.28 into 1 hectogram what is the value of 1 hectogram in terms of grams 1 hectogram equals to 100 grams so 7.28 into 100 grams so here in that in this product we have the again two decimal values are there here we have the two digits also two decimal points are there so we can remove the decimal point then it will be 728 grams 728 grams clear so hectograms will be written in terms of decagrams so 13.472 hectograms equals to 13.472 into 1 hectogram so decagram mean look so we have to convert this hectogram into decagram one hectogram equals how many decagrams 10 decagrams 13.472 into 10 decagrams so if we multiply with the 10 it will be 134.72 decagrams clear next decagrams has to be converted into milligrams no? decagrams has to be converted into milligrams so how the conversion so decagrams in terms of milligrams if we have that decagrams into milligrams we don't have that decagrams into milligrams so that's why we will have to convert this decagrams into grams and then grams will be converted into milligrams so 38.0743 decagrams equals to 38.0743 into 10 grams so 10, if we multiply with the 10 the point will be moved forward 
it will be 380.743 grams so 1 gram 1 gram so 1 gram equals how many milligrams on a thousand milligrams so 380.743 into 1000 milligrams to 1000 milligrams so if we multiply with the 1000 so if we multiply with the 1000 there are three digit three zeros are there right? so three digits will be moved forward it will be 380.743 milligrams okay this is the conversion if we know if we don't know about the one unit to another unit first of all we have to convert that unit to the nearest unit that unit will be converted into the another unit okay that is the process we have to follow here clear so this is the all problems related to length and weight so we have to you have to keep in mind that these are the very very important problems okay and remaining topics are there those are the two type of problems those are problems on volume or capacity and time and articles related questions are there so those concepts will be completed in the next class with that we will finish the total measurements but you have to read those units those are the major concepts so if we read those units properly we will understand these questions so if we don't have those idea uh, if you don't have an idea about those units it is not possible to clear these questions so that's why first of all first of all clear those units and then co come to these questions you get the clear idea so this is all about the today's class and we will see those topics in next class thank you